through suffering. He is not intentionally or willingly allowing suffering, but he makes it very clear, speaking through Jesus, he tells us suffering will be part of our lives, especially if we are born again, spirit-filled Christians. If you read your Bible in John 16, 33, the Bible says, Christ speaking, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Now he is not saying that, that, that trouble will possibly take place, that trouble is an option. He's, no, he is, he is stating a fact. In this world you will have trouble. You will have difficulties. You will have suffering. As a Christian you are a target. The devil and his demons are attacking you. But be encouraged. He has overcome the world. He has set the example and we are following him. And as he overcame, you will overcome. No matter what is in your way right now, no matter what challenge you are facing right now, maybe health issues, maybe financial difficulties, relational issues, whatever it is, there's a promise God has given that Christ has made it. He has overcome the world and so will you. And there is a suffering that we have to go through, all of us, especially if you are born again. It says in 2 Timothy 3 and verse 12, in fact, everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. Not just the general suffering which you know, all people undergo, but as Christians, on top of that, we will have to go through persecution. And every, every Christian, everybody who wants to live a godly life will go through persecution, will be persecuted. But it says in 1 Peter 4.19, So then, so then, those who suffer according to God's will should commit themselves to their faithful creator and continue to do good. There is a suffering according to God's will. It doesn't say that God wills the suffering. It just says God allows it, but they are suffering because they are serving God. They are persecuted and God allows it to happen. The good is fighting the bad. And if you're going through these kind of sufferings, you will make it. God makes a promise. You will make it. He has overcome the world and so will you. So commit yourself to your creator. Commit yourself to the, right, the, the righteous judge. And he will make sure that at the end of this world, every record will be set straight. Every bill will be paid. And God will reward you and God will revenge you. Don't do it yourself. Wait for God to take revenge on your behalf.